Hey guys, it's Misty Lovely coming at you with my week 64 post op update. Um, before I get into this, as always, I do have something to say. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of you on FB for your um, condolences, your sympathies, and especially your prayers as I am I'm dealing with the situation and the loss of the people I love the best way I can. And um, I've had a lot of, I'm, I, it's up and down, it's moment to moment. <clears throat> uh, so thank you guys. I can't say it enough. I almost can't articulate um, as well as I would like due to the fact that I'm still dealing with it. I will deal with it. I'm going through the whole process of um, grieving. But I'm also the same person who um, dealt with 22 deaths in a year. Um, three years ago, when we first moved to where we are now, me and my husband dealt with over 22 deaths in a year in our family. And in that number included my uncle, um, his mother, uh, she passed away from cancer. Um, and everybody just seemed to fall off like flies and it kind of felt like that for a moment so I had to go within myself and just take some time for myself I still am I had to draw back on some things and some things that I was involved in uh, just to give myself time but God has been encouraging me like I said it's up and down if I hear a certain song or something like that then you know, I'll find myself in tears. I also found out this week as well that um, one of my good friends, my childhood friends, has cancer. And it's just like, you know how things kind of pile up. It's like, if it's not one thing, it's another. And it's like stuff adds to and adds to and adds to. But you know what? Considering everything I made up in my mind a long time ago, that no matter what's going on in my life, if I have to be exercising and, and, and stop and be in tears, then that's what I got to do. But I must proceed because just like when my mother passed away, the very next day I was at school and people did not understand how that was possible. But when you know that they'd rather you be happy than to be sad, you do what you need to do for you. So with that said, I'm going to go right into weight loss and you guys just continue to pray for me. Like I said, I'm dealing with it. I'm at a stage now where I'm numb, but I, I'm i still at the, I have a little bit of a cold. I'm the end of my cold and I'm looking for something. I'm trying to, anyway, on this, there was a Halls wrapper um, and I don't know if you guys noticed if you ever look at the new Halls. Well, they're not new per se, but on the halls, they have different little messages. And I opened this one in particular and it said, you've been through worse. You've gotten through worse. Get up and dust yourself off and keep going. And I know that's what my family would want me to do. And I know that that's what I need to do. And it's like, God has a way of encouraging you with the smallest of things because I haven't been in real communication with anybody because of course I just haven't felt like talking um but anyway um you guys forgive me if I'm kind of all over the place I'm just a little out of it so but I want to go ahead and get into numbers here and talk a little bit about the band and I'm going go on about my business um I do have some other videos that I have pre-recorded for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and post those a little later I don't even know if I'm gonna when I'm gonna post this update um, but anyway, last week I was telling you guys I had a game and I also was telling you guys that it always falls off the next day. Just like I said, it fall, it fell off the next day. Um, it didn't completely fell off, but it was falling off day after day. And this is why I weigh in now every two weeks as opposed to every week, especially after Mother Nature's visited. Because I know how my body works and I can't stand delivering false gains. And all the gains along my journey have been false gains due to Mother Nature. So anyway, um, last week I was 266.3. This week I am 262.4 for a 3.9 pound loss, um, which was all the water weight um, or all the little bit, the gain that I had had. Um, yeah. And then from my highest weight of 378.8 to now 262.4, that is a 116.4 pound loss. And... Um, you know, I know that 
like I said, this journey is a process and you're going to do this. And I, I only delivered my game last week because I wanted people to see that my journey, Miss T. Lovelies, is not perfect. You know, I do fluctuate, but I know what it's from and I just keep going. I don't cry about it. You know, does it concern me at a time? Because you'll probably think that in the back of your head, is this real? Um, can this game be a real one? Anyway, um... About the band, I got another fill. I got a 1cc fill, so that puts me at, no, 0 0.8. Uh, the one before was a 1cc, so that puts me at 9ccs. And I have to say that this fill has m made me the tightest I've ever been. And I'm just like, whoa. Um, I'm going to have to start drinking tea to get food down because I definitely can feel that tightness. And I, to be honest, I don't want to lose that because I didn't realize how wide open I was. And some people actually prefer to be open with the band and have that room and freedom. I do too, subconsciously, I guess, because my body's like, feed me, give me food. And that, you know, big girls like, feed me, give me food too. Anyway, so I'm tighter now. So um, in order to, you know, loosen that up just a little bit, loosen the band, I'm going to start drinking my peppermint tea again. Um... I also quickly want to talk to you guys here about some other things I was going through. Last week, not only with the deaths and with finding out all this bad news, I was dealing with body image issues and, um, you know, asking myself who I was because I'm changing so much, so much. I mean, and with change, with your body changing, you change. I don't care what anybody says. You're going to want, for me, I'm wanting to try new things and... Like, for example, today, I went and got my nails done. And I had them rounded off. Why did I do that? I just wanted to do something different. You know, I'm, I'm not afraid of being spontaneous anymore. Because my shell is falling off, I'm coming forward the more. And some things that happen, I'm just like, did I just do that? You know, I wouldn't normally do that. But I'm no longer the 378-pound woman. Lastly here, so I am so I am doing things I would normally do because I'm not that person. This is the person I am now. Um, lastly, I want to talk about friends. You know, we as people, we as human beings naturally have a fear of rejection. rejection. We don't like being rejected. And I'm noticing as I change, so are my surroundings. And also, too, um, I'm... I have to go back here for a second. I think about the changes, even though the positive changes are there, I actually had mental battles with feeling like the bigger girl. So I go between those two, but more so the newness is there. But anyway, with friends, we get, we're afraid of rejection and we don't like being shut down for no reason at all. And I'm coming to the point in my life where I've realized I'm a person who is a fixer. I'm a person that wants to help people out. I want to see them excel. And for some reason, I guess because of my own hurt and what I've been through, I'm willing to sacrifice myself in the sense that I will tell you what I've been through. I feel like life, life should be an open book. And if you could prevent somebody else, your life should be an open book. And if you could prevent someone else from enduring what you've endured, why not? Why be... Um. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hesitant to share. That's not the word I'm wanting. But why be hesitant to share anything in your life if it'll help somebody else? But I've also noticed in that, in me being the rock fair, a lot of people, I don't have very many many rocks for myself, and that's been hard. That's been a hard place for me to come to. So I'm like, I had to look at me, Miss T. Lovely. I said, What is it about you? that makes people gravitate in a way that all you get are people who need you and I'm sorry if this sounds a certain type of way but I know somebody out there understands exactly what I'm saying I want friends that are that we equally exchange I've only had one friend like that in my entire life and we were friends for 10 years and I don't want anybody taking this a certain type of way because some of you guys are my friends off here and we're building a relationship but my best friend of 10 years we had a rapport like none other and I have yet to find that type of relationship with somebody else and it's just making me feel a certain type of way along with everything that I'm going through so it's like it's so many emotions but at the end of the day 
I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm not explaining this well where you can understand, but it's all in me, and there's not enough time on a video for me to tell you and articulate. All I know is that my relationships are changing, I'm changing, and I want better for myself, and I'm searching myself where I can improve, whether it's with communication, whether it's with understanding or um, how people take me, whatever the case may be, um, I'm working on me, and I'm changing. <laughs> you guys can see so anyway um, got more videos coming up for you guys thank you if you if you've stayed to the end um, sorry if it's been a lot of blabble but I just had to put out here everything that I've been feeling for self so I love you guys I thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon I got like I said more videos coming up for you guys my sweat with me's and everything else so talk to you later I'm a survivor never giving up